Right, welcome back. Time for the headlines, and she's here, Mapito herself. Maps. Morning, Kojo. Good morning. Are First, you all right? I'm good. First yeah. Friday of the of the year. How does yeah. it feel? It feels good. We're jamming tonight at Soul Star Towers. Oh, yeah. 90s jam. Joy Films 90s jam. I'm very excited. What do you know about 90s? Excuse jam. me. Do you know how old I am? Yes. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm a 90s baby, so okay. I've been you know, jamming. And well, stuff. we'll see how that all pans out. Yeah, all right. Today. All right, how so let's it? take our news. And in our first story, two persons have been confirmed dead at Nakura, a suburb of the northeast Ganja district of the Savannah region, following renewed clashes over a piece of land between two neighboring communities, Kitura and Chogna. Atta Ambili, 34 years old, and her husband, Karim, 29, died before police in Salaga moved in to restore calm to the area. Reports indicate that the two rival chiefs, Chokna Ibrahim and Kiturura Al Hassan have for some time been battling over royalties for the disputed parcel of land. Police in the region say they are on a hunt for the killers. DCOP Enoch Bidiako is a Savannah region police commander. The place has been deserted by the community. Yeah. In fact, uh, Mojipe is a, a small community. It's a small community. So all the people have left the place. So what's the police's own account of what happened? Well, our initial investigation points out to the fact of collection of royalty. That is the immediate cause of this uh, incident. There might be some remote causes, but for now, the police can talk of immediate cause, which involves around collection of royalties. And have any arrests been made yet? Not yet. Not yet, but we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are closing in. We are closing in. We are hoping that by the close of the week, we will get some suspects to uh, uh, arrest for justice to be done. Right. Now, uh, Bantamahene uh, Bafo Uusua Mankwetia, uh, the sixth, has appealed to Ghanaians to give peace a chance as the country goes to the polls this year. Uh, the, the traditional war marshal of the Asantehene also expects citizens to accept the results of the 2020 elections in order to avert any public disturbances. Now, he says that after seven successful general elections on the 1992 constitution, Ghana cannot afford to get it wrong at any time. He has been speaking to my colleague Ohiming Teria. My New Year message to Ghanaians is first, we should appreciate the meaning of the word peace. Once we appreciate it, then we will know that there will be no need that during elections we should fight. After elections to... Um, we should accept the results in good faith and move on. After all, we've had seven elections and we haven't fought. So those, there will be no need for us to disturb the peace in 2020. That is what I'm wishing for Ghanaians, that we will continue to have our peace, we will continue to enjoy our freedom, we will continue to respect our democracy. And in 2020, I want all Ghanaians to respect their chiefs. We wish the government well. But first of all, let me uh, wish my king, um, let me wish my king well. I pray for long life for him. I pray that God gives him, God always gives him the strength to do what he has to do for Mother Ghana. We appreciate the peace that he's brought to Ghana, and we will continue to support him to bring peace to Ghana. We know that once he's there, we always trust that Ghana will experience peace. Meanwhile, there's a back and forth on who would win the 2020 elections as prophecies are being banded about. We start with prophetic uh, Nigel Jesse of the Prophetic Hill Chapel, who is sure that former President Mahama will win with 52.1 percent. Allah came to me and told me that the nation should bring back Kwame Dramani of the NDC. Sir, 
The Lord said he should bring back Pame Dramani of the NDC. And the Lord said true Pame Dramani of the NDC. It's going to place the nation on a good place. I saw the NDC win the next general election with 52.1%. I saw the NDC win the general election. I saw Kwame Dramani win with 52.1%. Hear me and hear me. Well, the founder and leader of the Glorious Wave Church, uh, Reverend Emmanuel Bedu Kobi, is also predicting a win for President Akufado. Hmm. I'm watching everything. Now, But by the way, the elections of 2020 is already done on. Yeah, it's, already, it's finished. They finished it. And if you check how it was done, the ruling party won. How it was done. <laughs> So. And the Economic Intelligence Unit, in its latest report, said it expects President Akufado and the NPP to secure re election in 2020. It further stated if the NDC can present a coherent opposition and hold the NPP to account on an unfulfilled campaign promise, particularly on infrastructure development as well as private sector development, such as job creation and industrialization, where progress has been genuinely slow and success patchy, the election could be closely contested. We've been speaking to some Ghanaians on what they make of these prophecies and projections. We've also been asking them whether it will influence their choice in the December polls. For me, I don't believe in those kind of prophecies, seriously, concerning elections. Elections are won based on the manifesto the party presents and what the people believe in it. So we have a lot of countless of uh, prophecies that have a lot of pastors said um, MPP is going, DC was going to win, whatever be the case, and it turned outside down. So for me, um, something relating to election prophecy, sometimes for me, I doubt, seriously, I doubt about it. But I believe in prophecies, but for election's sake, I don't think so. Anything can happen. So I don't believe in prophecy concerning elections. I don't believe in prophecy. And I don't begrudge any prophet bringing their stance as to who will win in 2020. Each and every individual has a political affiliate, like myself. I, I don't belong to, strictly belong to one political party. I just listen to their manifesto and look at who is possible can deliver. Then I vote for the person. Uh, I wasn't there. When God showed the vision to them, I wasn't there. Uh, so what, what we can do from our side is watch also also been, also been past prophecies and then find out how accurate it is. And also watch Prophet Nigel's prophecies and find out how accurate it is. Is that, that anybody who has watched both of them will know that some some of them connect. Some of them are, are hinting about this, like the terrorist attack. Uh, Nigel said we should watch from now to March. Um, also, Ben Pai is saying you should not gather at uh, public places. So, uh, it's a good thing for them. The, uh, on the elections, while both of them are, uh, have diverse views, um, that one, I, I don't have any excuse for it. We um, you know it's God who speaks to them. But, you know, uh, one thing about prophecy is uh, how to interpret it. Prophecy is about uh, revelations from God given. So when a pastor or a prophet professes, we take it serious. So I think uh, it's, it's something you have to just take it serious. It may happen that what they are saying is true. So why don't you just give the benefit of the doubt? I believe in God and I believe whatever happens, happens when God says. So all what they are saying, I believe, can happen depending on God's choice what this man is saying and what the other man is saying you and i cannot decide unless god says yes so that's what i can say 
that okay they've said it but what happens when it changes whether their prophecies are going to stand or not it is incumbent upon us to vote wise not to uh, think that i'm following this pastor or that pastor so whatever he says is final when it comes to election it is the decision of the populace that tells because if you don't vote vote wise you can you can get a good standard to live on as far as the country is concerned Scientific versus spiritual. And in fact, spiritual versus spiritual. Yeah, so because I mean, NDC, NDP, same God. Is this the same God that we are all praying to? It's but a good question, isn't it? It is. All mm. right. But will it influence your decision? No. No? no. At all. Not at all. All right. No. All right. But, well, that's me. That's just you. So perhaps we'll take a moment and talk about it later if we get the opportunity. All right. So that's, you know how to join the conversation. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram throughout three hours. We are drawing news on TV. We have a very exciting show coming up today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the Bam Bam Band is mm, here too. It's going to be. <laughs> oh, you're learning. I'm learning. Yeah, yeah well, it's going to be what? It's going to be. <laughs> oh, Kodro, didn't you? My, my dress is nice. Don't you think my dress is it's nice? It's absolutely lovely. Oh, my God. Oh. You are oh, now seeing it for the first time. Fine girl. Oh, princess. Oh, fine girl. Oh, I beg. Oh, we'll oh, be back. Oh. We'll be back in five minutes.